everybody and welcome back to Sci Our Shop channel. Okay guys, we're going to carry on the next part of our um, paintbrush sheep. Yes, that's right guys, the paintbrush sheep. Uh, sheep. And uh, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to put it back together to show you again, just to remind you. And uh, on this tutorial, we're, I'm going to show you how to paint it. And then after that, we're just going to let it dry and then I'm going to show you the highlights and low lights and bring it all to life. So I'm just going to put it all back together. It's all um, nice and dry now, nice and hard. Uh, let me just pop the ears back on. Now I did have the ears like this and um, I thought, mm, I'm not too sure about that. So I may stick them on a little bit like that. Because I think a sheep's ears go down, don't they? Well, I think so anyway. And uh, so I might go with the flow with that one, but I'm just going to put it back together quickly just to show you where we got to. But we can mess about with all this once it's all been painted up and we know exactly what we're dealing with. So, uh, yes, it's all clever stuff, guys. So remember, this is the little fiddly bit, putting all the little little hoofs back on. But uh, I'm going to show you that now. Uh, to a degree, so basically they're going to be stuck on there. Um, it's going to be a bit tricky to, for me to show you because I can't actually glue them, but uh, until they're all painted, and I think I will um, paint the hooves black, and then the actual feet are going to be um, grey. The head's going to be grey. Uh, the ears going to be grey. The tongue will be red, and the eyes will be white, and the rest of the actual uh, brush will be white as well. And like I said, I'll show you how to, um, after it's been painted, uh, do the highlights and lowlights and bring it all to life and put the eyes on. And I might put some, because um, I feel like there's something missing there, so I might put some little hair coming out of there or I might put on some uh, eyebrows. So I haven't quite decided yet, but we'll get it all painted up and then we can decide afterwards. That's the good thing about this. You can just uh, carry on and... Uh, once it's all dry and we've got it all painted up how we want it, then we can mess about with it exactly where we want everything to go and we can go from there. So without further ado, I'll show you what we need to do next, which is obviously the painting. So um, what has to happen is I'm going to do all the white part first um, and then work my way back to grey and then the darkest colour, which is black. So I'm just going to pop everything off that's not going to be painted um, white. And uh, the eyes have already been, I've given it a wash of the eyes of uh, white already. So I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to leave those and they don't need another coat of white. Okay, you're still with me guys. Hopefully you are. Excellent, that's great. So I'm just going to pop all this to one side. And then I'm going to uh, paint this part. And uh, that's, I'm just double checking to make sure that's the only thing that's white, which it is. So I've got my trusty brush and I'm going to get my white and uh, paint it. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, and basically you just go along with it and uh, you just paint all along, all the way along and keep doing that. Okay, so just give it another lovely paint of white because this is going to be the final coat of white on this and then we will go on to um, the grey and then finally end up with the black which is all exciting stuff so I probably won't uh, paint all this now on screen but just so that you can see this is what you have to do make sure you get the sides painted well also you can still see some red there so just give it a good liberal Piece of uh, piece of white, uh, some white paint, and keep going around until you completed all that. Well, all exciting stuff, guys, isn't it? You know, it'll be amazed when it all comes together. You will, you will. No, you will. I'm just saying you will. Okay, so to keep doing that. So, I'm just going to quickly show you on the um, the wool part. So keep dabbing all your paint liberally onto that and that'll fill some of the holes and that'll add to the effect don't worry if you don't fill all the holes but uh, just try to if you can because it just i mean some of it is seeping anyway and there'll be a hole left anyway so um don't worry too much 
Okay, so just go in with all that. Actually, I think I will finish it off. I was going to finish it off off camera, but uh, you know, it's not going to take me that long, guys. So I just wanted to show you, and um, I just will carry on, and then I will show you the grey part. So it's all exciting stuff. Just get in there. Just get rid of all the. I'm going to go back along there because it just seems a little bit. A little bit grey along there but as i go down to the bottom this bit will dry a little bit and i might see some you know grey come through and not not be so white so i will just touch that up as you do you know what i mean montaigne you do you do that's great and then it will all come together at the end and you'll be amazed and you'll be giving these away as gifts and oh you just won't know what to do with them. You'll probably keep them, actually, because you'll love them so much. And you want to hang them on the wall. Absolutely marvellous, isn't it? I know. I know. That's what I'm like. I make all these things, and then I uh, I don't want to actually give them away. Because I like them. Because after I've made something, I just like to look at it. I used to do that when I used to make cakes. Well, I still make cakes, but, uh, you know, novelty cakes. But uh, I used to spend hours on them, and then... Obviously, someone would destroy them because they'd be eating them. Funny that, with the cake. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it rolls, and that's not a problem. But at least with this kind of art, you don't actually eat it. You just look at it. So you spent so many hours on it, you might as well appreciate it, I always think. Do you know what I mean, i You do, you do. That's great. So there you go, guys. I've nearly done this already. So, like I said, I thought I was going to do this off camera, the rest of it. But I'm not. I'm going to do it all on camera for you. Let me just go along the top again, just slightly. And uh, yeah, it's all, going, it's all going well. Okay, so that's about it, I think. So something like that. So there you go, guys. It's all done and dusted. And we will be painting it again anyway with the highlights and lowlights. So if there is any bits you've slightly missed, don't worry, because that's what it's all about. It's all art at the end of the day, and it's your version of this. It's not going to be exactly the same as mine when you make yours. It will be your own version. So, uh, yes, all very good indeed. Okay, let me just pop that over there. And then we're going to do the grey. So I'm just going to bring these grey parts back in. And uh, that's it. So we've got the ears, the head, and the little uh, feet, I suppose. And then the hoofs will be black and stuff on later. And uh, yes, that's all done and dusted as well. So, okay, so let's do the grey next. So what I've, I'm going to do is just mix some white with a little bit of black. Funny that, just to get grey. We need, just need a light grey, so get quite a lot of... Um, let me show you this. So it would be helpful, wouldn't it? Just get your... Just move that slightly. Get your white, like so. You just have to judge how much you need. You can always put some water with it, just to make it stretch a bit more. And then I need a little bit of black. Now I've got a massive pot of black here, so I'm just going to, you might see this, you might not. I'm just going to pop just hardly anything on there. there. See what I did there? You see that? It's just a tiny little bit. And now I'm just going to drag that round. And see, even though that was a little bit, I've got, uh, it's still quite a dark grey. So just be careful with that when you do that, guys. Okay, actually I'll keep this on screen, hopefully you can see that. Let me just double check, here you can, that's marvellous, absolutely marvellous. And I might put just a little bit of water with it, just to make it stretch a bit more. Okay, but don't worry if you keep adding and it changes the grey as you go along, because uh, like I said before, it's all art, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got our ears, so I'm just going to pop that there and give it a of grey all the way around as you do. Okay, don't worry if you get it on your hands or anything because this is out at the end of the day. Let me put it there and you can see it. Okay, so there you go. You might be thinking while I'm touching it, uh, I'll take some of the paint off and I probably will do, but that just adds to the effect and you can always go along and touch it up anyway. So don't worry about that. 
This is all about having fun and being creative at the end of the day. And that's what you want, guys, isn't it? You know what I mean when I say? You do, you do. That's great. Okay, so let's just go get it on in all the nooks and crannies in those little, those grooves there. You see that? You see that groove there? At the feet? Okay. Did I do that with that one? Mm, better do a bit more there, I think. Try to get under under the edges at the side as well if you can because you might find you've missed a bit and then when you stick it on um, you'll see where you've missed and it doesn't look as good as it would have done if you put it all on okay so now i'm going to do the feet so just again get in all those nooks and crannies don't worry about the paint going on your hands because this is art and uh, you know, you have to get messy sometimes. It's just the way you roll, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, what I'm saying? You do, you do, that's great. Oh, I missed a bit there, see that? Hopefully you can see that. Let me know in the comments below if you like um, seeing this up close. Is this better or would you like to see me and the uh, whatever I'm making together? Because I find if I, if I um, put me in the equation, and you see me as well, then what I'm making is a little bit too far away and I have to keep picking it up. Now I can do it that way, but I think this way you get to see it close up, exactly what I'm doing. So I think that's better. But if you do like the other version, just let me know in the comments below and I'll do some clips like that. You know, it's, it's just the way it works, you know, because I want you to see it, and that's the main thing. You need to be able to see what I'm doing, don't you? Do you know what I mean what I'm saying? You do, you do, that's great. Okay, and it looks like I've got enough, I might have put a little bit more water with it, enough grey there, so, uh, yeah, so let's just pop a bit more around there like so. Get all in that in. And that's that bit. Now we're going to do the head, which is exciting, isn't it, guys? I'm going to put a little bit of water with that just to make that stretch a bit more. And I'm going to turn it on its side and just go around the edges like so. And the brilliant thing about this kind of thing is uh, it's very forgiving. So it doesn't matter if you don't get it completely right. And I think if you do miss bits, it just adds to the character of whatever you're making. Uh, get it all in that little hole there, the little mouth. We're going to have that luxury um, tongue in there, aren't we? So that's going to that's going to all be marvellous, and we're going to love that. I put a bit too much water there, and it made it a different colour. Well, thinned it out, basically, which is fine. But uh, as I've got enough paint, I'm going to use it all up. Right, get it all in those eye sockets. That's a good move. And then pop that round like so. Look at that. We've done it already. Put it in those nostrils, nostrils, if you know what nostrils are. That's it, just pop it around like so. A little bit more, and then uh, let me just see if I'm happy with that. I think I am. It's a bit rough, but again, like I said before, it just gives it a bit of character, so don't worry. Okay, there's a bit on there. I'd, I think I need to put a little bit more on there. So I've got some grey left, so I might as well use it up. Just go along like that. Uh, oh, there's a bit. Look, I missed that. Or oh, I've probably uh, taken that bit of um, paint off with my fingies. Do you know what I mean? One sec. You do, you do. That's great. Okay. So, oh, there's a bit there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave that as that. Uh, and let me just pop that over there. Now we need to do the black. Now, this should be fairly easy to do. Um, I won't clean my hands. I might get some of the grey on there, but, uh, you know, it just adds to the effect. So just get your black. Again, you won't need much, so I'll just pop a bit there. And give these little ones a paint up of black. Now, I'd probably, you know, there is a right side and a wrong side, but uh, I'd probably just... Try and paint them all it all over and then you can mess about with it and stick it on um, afterwards so what we need to do is do this so i've just painted it all the way around and dropped it 
uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that on there like so. So yeah, it's a bit fiddly, this, uh, these little hoofies, but uh, just go with it guys, because that's the way it rolls, and that's the particular art piece you're making at the moment, so uh, don't worry about that. Oops. Okay, nearly there, guys. After this, I've just realized I've, I've gone onto black, but I need to have a red um, for the tongue. So I'm going to have to clean the brush out in a minute. And uh, then I will um, oops, it's a bit sticky. Um, paint the tongue for you guys, okay? But, uh, yeah, please show me if you make any of these, because... Uh, Every time I make these, they're all slightly different, and the characters are different because of the you know the way that, that I've made it, and uh, you know that just adds to the effect. And I just love that, guys. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? What I'm saying? You do, you do. That's great. Okay. And let me know if you want to see me go live and make something, and you can ask questions at the same time. That might be a nice idea to do, and uh, you can uh, we can learn and do it make it together if you know what i mean what i'm saying you do you do that's great okay so there you go now i've missed little bits but i'm not going to worry too much because we will be highlighting those with some fosca pens which would be white okay so there you can see some black so that was a bit too much black really you hardly need any for this now i need to clean my brush which i'm going to do and clean my hat so i find the best thing to do to have on hand is some uh, like wet, wet wipey things and then you don't have to get up from your table when you're all set up. So I'm just going to, and I find they, they clean quite well. Um, so just give them a quick wipe and that will get you through to the next stage of whatever you're making. So uh, I don't know whether you can see me do this, but it's very exciting watching me um, clean my hands, isn't it? So uh, because I'm going to have to hold the, the tongue in a minute. So I don't want to get any black on there. But if I do, not a problem. I shall just, just go with it. Right, I'm just cleaning my brush off off screen if you're wondering what I'm doing, guys. So talk about yourself. Okay, right. I think I've cleaned it in there. Time will tell, guys. Okay, so I need red now. That would help, wouldn't it? So, um, yes, let's go back and uh, pop that. How shall I do this? I think I might move that over there and then move that down. Okay, so now we've got our tongue. So we just need to paint that uh, red all the way around. So I've got my red, it's off camera. I'm just going to pop it in, the brush that is, and uh, put a bit of, put it there. So that's quite a lot. So that's plenty. Absolutely plenty, guys. Okay, so. Now I'm just going to turn it upside down first and uh, paint it, as you do. Okay, so that's all you need to do. And then go around the edges next, pop it round, and then paint it like that. So it's really looking a tongue-like, don't you think? Absolutely marvellous, guys, isn't it? Absolutely marvellous. Okay, so that's that. Uh, have I missed any bit? A little bit there, it's because I'm touching it. See, that's the way it goes, but not a problem. So that's plenty of red there. Look at that. Plenty. Okay, so now that's basically it, guys. So um, what I'm going to do is put that to one side, let everything dry, and then once that's happened, I'll do the next tutorial clip and show you... Um, how to do the highlights and no lights and bring it all to life. And then we're um, sort of let that dry. And then I'll do another clip on the final build. And then we'll put it all together and uh, decide exactly where everything's going to go. And then we we'll stick it on a, a board, I think. Um, I'll show you how to do that. And uh, oh, it will be marvellous and I'll love it. It'll be absolutely amazing. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, like, share and subscribe. Any questions, put in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next clip. Bye bye for now.